Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's great to have you. And as a quick reminder to all, you know, my focus, you know, my mission here on the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, when you choose to like the videos, when you choose to share the information, you know, with associates and colleagues. So if you've not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button. And for additional ways that uh, you can choose to support the channel, check out those links below. And for additional ways that I can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below as well. And with that said, let's get into our topic here today, and it's how to make gym management easier. How to make gym management easier. I've got six things for you to think about here today. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where you're at. If you're an operator, you're in, um, you know, you're in sales, you know, it's, it's training, whatever it might be, you know, take a look at these and what can you do you know, to really simplify this and make it easier. So number one on my list of, you know, how to make gym management easier is, you know, automation. Let's automate our operation, okay? You want to use automation as much as you can. And now here's what you don't want to do. Don't take away the human element, okay? We still want to connect, you know, with folks. We still want to be involved, okay? But anything that's a, it's a repeatable task, Okay, you know, um, you know, it could be confirming appointments. It could be, you know, posting blogs. It could be a host of things like this. But automate as much as you possibly can. You know, the more you can do that, the more it's going to help scale this, and the more it's going to free you up, you know, to do other things to help grow and improve your business. So, you know, look at automation, you know, across the board. Okay, with your website, with apps, with email, with texting, you know, all of that. Um, number two. Keep up with technology that your members expect. You know, stay up to date on technology. Now, one of the problems that I see sometimes with technology, particularly in new startups, there's a tendency by maybe that new owner to think that we need every single shiny object out there, okay? And we don't need all of them. You can sometimes kind of get nickel and dimed with some of this, and even not even nickel and dime, maybe a little more than just that. But make sure you've got the technology that your members expect. Here's one of the great rules of business. You want to be easy to do business with. You want to be easy to do business with. You know, for example, can I go to your website and can I join? Can I join, um, you know, on an app? People expect this, you know, can I book an appointment with a trainer? Can I reserve time in a class? You know, can I do these things? When you're trying to keep up with technology, so to speak, what you want to be thinking about is, I want to be easy to do business with. Because if you're not, your customer is going to go with somebody else that's easy to do business with. You know, don't make them click twice when all they need to do is click once. Okay, it's a good way to look at it. Uh, number three, delegate task. I mean, this is one of the, the core, you know, core components of really making gym management easier is delegate. There's a tendency by a lot of folks, well, hey, just give it to me and I'll do it. Okay. And here's just a great way to look at it. If somebody else can do it, let them. If somebody else can do it, let them. Okay. Now, if they're, you know, a little new or a little more inexperienced or something like that, you know, you may have to follow up a little bit. Okay, which is fine. Just make sure we're not following up all the time, every time. Then we're still kind of doing it for them, right? But, you know, delegate. If somebody else can do it, delegate. Uh, be one of the best decisions you ever made. And a lot of, a lot of folks in leadership roles, they, they struggle with this. A lot of folks that are new at it will struggle at it. Because you're not going to be able to do every single thing yourself. Okay. Uh, number four on how to make gym management easier, never forget your budget. You know, get a budget in place and follow that budget, okay? Here's the thing about, you know, budgeting and accounting. We need to make sure at the end of every month, we've got money in the account. I mean, if you're not hitting your sales numbers, you're going to have to make some cuts someplace else. You're going to have to figure it out, okay? This is one of the things I know when I get involved in a lot of clubs, you know, that, are, that need a turnaround, it's one of the first things we do, okay? You know, what's not performing? Could be people, okay? Could be programs, could be other things. What do we need to eliminate 
that can cut our overhead to make sure we're getting money in every month. Okay, now we're not trying to choke it off, but if things aren't producing, you know, we need to make some decisions here. But never forget that budget, work that budget. Understand, you know, what is my line item expense for this? My line item expense for this? You know, I'll tell you one of the things that we've had a lot of success with, and uh, I, I call it, you know, turning your cost centers into profit centers. You know, it could be childcare, could be group X, could be front desk. They all cost you money to run every month. You know, we'll set those up as individual profit centers when looking at a budget. Let's just say it costs you $4,000 a month to run front desk, as an example, okay? We need to come up with a plan for front desk to generate $4,000. Because if front desk can pay for itself, if child care can pay for itself, if group X can pay for itself, that's bottom line money for you. And then if they can exceed that, you know, say for example, the budget's four, they bring in six, they went 2,000 over, you can split that, split the difference with your manager. They get 50%, so that front desk manager gets a $1,000 bonus. There's things you can do in there to really make this thing work. Number five, manage your inventory. Okay, so a couple things on inventory. What are some inventory items? Could be retail. You want to have retail. You know, you want to have supplements. You could have other inventory items. Okay, particularly if you have juice bars and things like that. But, you know, manage your inventory. And I would even talk about when you're looking at your inventory, you know, how much can you kind of push this to an online? You know, maybe when someone buys, you know, supplements. Maybe you set it up. Uh, matter of fact, you check the link below on, uh, on supplements. What, what's nice about this particular program, which is what I want to kind of get into a little bit, is you know, do it the same way you do memberships. Make it recurring. So if they buy supplements, maybe you're managing inventory on that front end sale, but once they buy it, it's an automatic drop ship you know, to their home every month. Makes for an easy process, okay, and helps you control inventory. Because when you have inventory, it could go unused, you could have theft issues. And so look for ways to kind of automate it, look for ways to kind of control it with technology a little bit, particularly once they've made that initial purchase. Uh, it can be a good way to look at it. And then number six on how to make gym management easier, this is one I see frequently, is set concrete goals set firm goals. It's interesting how many folks don't know what they need. All they know is they need more sales. That's all they know. Even a salesperson, how many, how many sales do you need? Well, I don't know, I just need to make a lot of them. Set concrete goals. It's one of the key things when you're doing a plan of action is you know when you're vague about this, when it's general, hey, I wanna break a sales record. Doesn't really tell us anything. Hey, I wanna do 100 sales this month. Okay, and then here's the plan on how we're going to do that. Much better chance you're going to get that done. Okay, set concrete sales goals. Set concrete goals. We want to collect 10 new leads per day per person. You know, I want my top person to make 100 dials of the phone per day, maybe. Okay, you know, maybe your situation's it's smaller and you won't do that. But the more contacts you make, you know, more opportunities you're going to have. Okay, I want this many appointments on the books every day. You know, I'm looking for this kind of a percentage of enrollment. Okay, I want this many referrals. Okay, I want this kind of a profit margin. I mean, set concrete goals, be very specific, and then we want to go to work trying to hit those goals. Okay, so how to make gym management easier? You know, six tips. Take a look at it. If you're looking at getting in the business, Use this as kind of a springboard to what you're trying to do. If you're already in the business, you're trying to go to that next level, these are some places you can look at that, hey, if you can become more effective and more efficient at each one of these, you'll improve your business probably today. So, folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And, again, if you've not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And for additional ways you can choose to support the channel, you know, check out those links below. And we we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.